Hello, PC Kermont speaking here. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to install Media Coder and also how to use it. If you want to use it to broadcast on Blog TV. Also, first of all, I will need a program called Manicamp uh, as I find it helpful to do desktop demonstrations. So let me go to my browser which is Google Chrome and let me type in many count first first thing I want to do is download many count and install it many count is a program that many people use for the Use it for expressions or for desktops if you're doing uh, computer podcasts or etc. And this is many here. The uh, download will depend on your internet connection speed. Uh, 700, 683 gigabytes per second. That's because I'm on fiber optic. The first thing you want to do is install this program. And when you are installing Manicam, okay, we're going to start up. Sometimes you get presented with a toolbar and uh, you don't want to install it. Now, I didn't want to install Weatherbug because I went too quick. So basically, I'll take Weatherbug out because I believe that Weatherbug has some spyware uh, installed on it. And that's from a knowledge of computers from 1985. You can't show the details. And it's like striking. Installing video drivers and etc. Now it'll say you run many times. So basically the first time click finish. And I'm just waiting on coming up. I want to install that weather bug alert to make sure it's not. So if it doesn't start at the first time, then go to your startup and click on money count. Here you will see money count for the first time. And what we want to do here is go to source. Now you will notice that this one here is a built-in web camera that comes with the Sony multi-touch screen. This other one here is a USB high definition camera, which is a wireless one. And uh, if I wish to install a number of cameras, they will all show up on the And you will see me in the screen here. Now the next thing I want to do is go back to effects and go to tag over video. Here I go on remove the logo mini cam and click close. The next thing I want to do is go to blog TV. Blog TV is a social networking site where I use to broadcast computer help. Now if you don't have an account, sign up for an account. Uh, add your details if you do have an account into the box here. And click sign in. Then you would go to your name, which mine is PC Caramel. And here you will see the option of start public show. Start a private show or start an HQ broadcast, which is basically a high definition broadcast. Okay. Now, to use a media encoder, this is the one that you want. Once you click the button, it'll say download uh, the FME version 3 or above from Adobe website. So you go here. 
Now you need an account with a dough. So you can create an account here, free. If you have an account, type in your details. And then put in your password. And sign in. Now my connection could be a bit slow tonight because I'm uh, two or three computers on and I'm updating uh, one at the moment in the background. And click the agreement. I do agree to the agreement. Now at the top here it says Flash Media Live Encoder 3.2. You also have 3.1. Now if you go back to the logo it says version 3 or above. Okay, version 3 or above. So I'm going to go for 3.1 this, or 3.2 this time, which would be basically the latest version. And you click download for Windows. And you will see the box here because I'm using Google Chrome. And you click save. Also, you want to go back and you want to download uh, your XML file, which basically will be because I am PC Caremon and this is my room at all, basically allow me to broadcast from the desktop direct to Blog TV, to PC Caremon, to the room I use. So you click here to download this. And it'll download here in the background. The next thing you want to do is go to your Flash Media Encoder 3.2 and install it. And you will see here it is very simple to install. Create a shortcut because I like a shortcut. That's an option you have if you want to create a shortcut. And basically it will come up because Windows 7 has a user account control like Windows Vista. And if you want to find out the details what it's going to install, you can check the stubby kit out if you know what you're looking for. Basically, when you check the stubby kit out, it'll be uh, digitally signed. Okay, now there's a README file you can show, and uh, I don't want to launch it just yet. In fact, I will go ahead and launch it now. And I can close that browser. Now, at the last day, basically, the first time, do you want to help them? Uh, I don't have the time at the moment, so I click no thank you. Now, you will see here, my picture here. You picked up the money cam, the virtual webcam. It is also set for medium broadband 300 uh, kilobytes per second, version 6. Now, I want to change that to high definition, which is 8.264. Also, I have to install the uh, the file from Blog TV, so I have to go to here File, Open Profile. I have to find out where I downloaded the two, which would be the Downloads folder. Let's see now. I go Computer. Okay, User. And PC Camera on and downloads. Here you will see the file which is the FME Blog TV PC Caremont file. Yours will probably say FME Blog TV whatever your username is that you choose. Double click it and it will automatically appear under the FMS URL. Now if you were going to use this for your website that's where you put your FM URL on. Now I want to do some settings here. Now the frame rate by default is 25%. Okay, and the bit rate is 450. Now, if you've got an external graphics card, and it's a good one, you can go over 25, okay? 
If you've got an onboard graphics card, then leave it by default. And that's basically 25 uh, KB per second. Now the frame rate here is set at 25 percent. So I'm going to move it because I have a good graphics card. I'm going to move it up to 29 percent. And you see the quality just gets a wee bit better. Now, if you move over here, this is your video to up. That's your webcam device. Now, if you're not using many cam, you take that box. You can set it for your own webcam. Okay. I leave the presets set at custom. If you've got fiber optic and you only use one computer, you can try the high broadband width or you can move it up to a higher volume. Over here on the right you've got audio. This is your device for your microphone. Now, I'm using the built-in microphone in the multi-touch screen computer uh, because I've ordered myself uh, a better microphone for broadcasting and I'm waiting on it coming, it's got a condenser built in so hopefully it'll get an even better sound quality the format is mp3 you can change the format no, the format basically you can't change it now the channel is stereo I can sell it to the mono just even one, two, one, two the sample rate I'll leave it alone and the bit rate I'll leave it 48 this is the volume control button Testing one, two, one. If I shot it here, obviously I've turned it up. If I shot it here, it'll turn out lower. We'll play about with that. Now, if I was ready to broadcast on Justin TV, I would click this button, Start Broadcasting. Now, it says it's not responding, but sometimes that happens in the broadcaster. And it has started to respond. You will notice here it is now broadcasting live on Blog TV and it is showing the video encoding starting and the audio encoding starting. Okay, so I want to stop. And that's a stop. So that's basically how you use the Dope Flash Media Live Encoder 3.2 or 3.1. Also over here you have, you can save the sample file to your desktop wherever you want to put it. You can take this box DVR audio record and you can set it to whatever time you want it to record to. Now you do need a file converter to get it to play. If you want to turn it into MP3 4 if you want to use this particular function. Okay, so thank you very much for listening to a small podcast from PC Kermon. Uh, we broadcast on Blog TV every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, we talk about computers on tech. We also, if someone needs help, they're quite, well, they're quite welcome to us for the help and we do our best to get them the answer. Okay, also follow me on Twitter, PC Kermon. And also I have a YouTube account, which is Justin TV. Uh, PC Kermon. Justin TV, PC Kermon. Please support the videos. If there's anything that you don't like about the videos, tell me what you like. Leave your comments. And I also have a formula set up, which I'll be giving the details out in the next couple of uh, weeks. Uh, so there will be a formula feedback page where people can go sign up free and leave their comments. Or if there's something that has come out reference a security alert or a Microsoft update, or there's a problem with, with, uh, with the Mac with the LAN version, which I just updated yesterday, from Snow Leopard to Lion. Uh, please feel free to get involved in the community and please feel free to come to Blog TV, PC Caremont, and don't be afraid to get involved in the chat on the tags. If you want to go and co-host and you're over the, the Blog TV age, ask me and I'm quite happy to put you on. If you want to come on Skype and have a conversation about computers or you're having a particular problem with a particular program or fault, please feel free to add PC Care Monday or Skype and write a wee message and tell me where you're from or etc. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I'm doing this recording by using a program called Cam Studio. I also have the 
the Microsoft one on, uh, which is basically uh, one I've downloaded here, but I will be working on it in the next couple of days. It's the, uh, let me find it. Microsoft and Fraction. Uh, it's an encoder I downloaded, I'm just trying to find it. Okay, Microsoft and Fraction encoder 4, okay, uh, which is no screen capture. You only get 10 minutes with it until you actually buy the program. Okay, this is Calm Studio, and hopefully this uh, demonstration friends from uh, myself, PC Caramon, will turn out that you'll be able to watch it okay. I am working on the picture quality at the minute, uh, trying to keep it in high definition, and the sound quality, I have ordered a condenser microphone uh, for the computer USB connection, so that should give us up a bit more value and quality. If you are into podcasts in the big way, when there's a tip out there you have, please let us know. Thank you.